Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we try to see a one of the exciting project of friends. During the COVID time, we are checking our health conditions like as an NA, pulse and oxygen level in our blood friends using the pulse oximeter friends. Today we try to make the pulse oximeter using the Arduino friends. What are the things that are required? The first, the most important one will be the this daughter board friends. That is nothing but the max 30102 friends. You can see it over here. This is 30102 friends. This is updated version of the max 30100 friends. The second, the most important one will be the Arduino Uno R3 friends. You can see it over here, friends. The third, the most important one will be the 16 cross 2 LCD. You can see it over here, friends. And with as an I2C to LCD converter. And I have taken from free mail to mail connections, friends. These are the four. For doing the connections, we required as a mini breadboard, friends. You can see it over here. In order to do the connections, I need to have it as a mail to mail jumper wires, friends. You can see it over here. And the last but not least is the USB A to B cable frames for flashing and get the power from the laptop frames. So these are the required resources for our project. Now let us see the connection frames. Now here you can see the UNO R3. Now there is called as an A4 and A5 will be there on my left hand side. There is called as an SDA and SCL will be there on to the top right hand side frame. So now let us do the connection. So here is a max 30102, here is a 16 cross to LCD with as an I2C extender friends. Now let us connect the I2C first, then we try to connect the max 30102 friends. First of all, this A4 I am taking and handovering onto the SDA friends. Now I am taking as an A5, now you can see it, and handovering onto the SCL friends. Okay. Now, this is the ground, so you can take it. I'm taking from the ground and handovering onto the ground, friends. And I'm taking as then a 5 volts. You can see it over here. And I'm handovering onto the VCC, friends. So, this is the LCD connection, friends. Now, let us see the max 30102. From 3.3, you can see it. I am handovering onto the VCC, friends. Okay. From ground, you can see it. I'm extending the ground. And I'm handovering onto the ground friends. Okay. Now from SCL, you can see, and I'm handovering onto the SCL friends. From SDA, you can see it over here, and I'm handovering onto the SDA friends. Between the SDA and the ground, they I'm not using the three pins, so I'm making us into March friends. So this is the right. connecting diagram. So the next thing I have taken a 16 cross to LCD with us and an uh, I to C. Now, I have taken the four wires, friends. You can see it. The first one will be the ground. That's the black wire. I'm connecting onto the ground, friends. You can. And the second one with the five volts. I'm giving onto the five volts, friends. You can see it over here. So, the yellow one will be the SDA. I am going giving onto the A4. Yellow one. And the next one will be the SCL. I am giving onto the A5, friends. So, this is the connections for the LCD, friends. Okay. Uh, max 30102 friends you can uh, see it over here now for this one i need to have it as in four male to male connection so first one will be the ground so you can see it over here friends the first one will be the ground the second one you can uh, see it okay the second one will be the sda so i need to remove the three pin and the next one will be the scl the next one will be the BCC. So this is the uh, SDA. The next one will be the SDA. The last one will be the BCC. This BCC is the 3.3 volts. So I'm taking the I'm taking this one and handovering onto the 3.3. And the last one you can see the ground. The ground pin is, is there. So I'm I'm giving onto the ground. And now if you can see the SDA will be the white. So I'm giving onto the SDA. And the last one with the SDS. 
Now so I have opened the Arduino IDE 2.1.0 friends. Now for this project, we need to install the liquid crystal underscore I2C and along with as a max 30100 friends. And when you go to the files and when you go to the examples, when you come down, you can see the max 3010 lib. So here is the examples friends. So based on that one, we have written. So now what I'm doing is a re a reporting period in milliseconds from one sample to another sample. I am defining the uh, duration between the sample as in 500 milliseconds and I am initializing the NCD and then I, I was a uh, class instance of the pulse oximeter as a POXI, the pulse oximeter and this variable I have uh, created for any last timestamp report frames. So now if you go to the set of functions, I am initializing the UART LCD and in the LCD, the first line I am printing as in a pulse, the second line I am printing as an oximeter with after that one the delay as in a two second and proxy dot begin. So here if it is uh, properly not connected and if there are any connections issues, so we try to get this one frame. So first of all, we need to get the success whether it has been properly connected. So uh, once the bait is detected, we are doing the callback function that is called as on bait detected frames. So on bait detected, just nothing but as in a, we are printing the bait frames. In the loop functions, first function we are using the proxy dot update. So we are checking the uh, how much timestamp between the samples. If it is more than 500 milliseconds, we are creating the LCD. In the first line, we are printing the files. In the, in the after that one, we are getting the proxy dot get hot rate is a function. We try to get it and print it. In the second line, spo2 we are printing along with the with, along with as an get spo2 function. And the millis is the time elapsed we are storing into the last report timestamp of the last report frame. So this function will be going to repeatedly executed frames. Now let us compile it. It is successfully compiled. Now we are able to. Here is the demo frames. You can watch. It is displaying the pulse. That's nothing but the heartbeat. In the second line, it is displaying the SPO2 frames in percentage. If you like this video, for more interesting updates, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel friends. If you have any doubts, please comment in the comment section friends. If you are interested in any topic, please let me know in the comment section friends. Thank you. Thank you very much friends.